Welcome back to Morning Joy, where truth matters. I'm your host, Keith Downey, and very excited to introduce our next guest. He's the business manager here at Guadalupe Radio Network and our resident sports expert slash guy, David Magallanes. Good morning, David. Good morning, Keith. How's everybody doing? Oh, I'm doing well. I'm, I'm better than I deserve. I think that's a, <laughs> that's a good way to put it. Um, so the last time we talked, we had you on the show, was right near around the, the Super Bowl. And it was great to have you on to talk all things sports and then also how our Catholic faith is integrated into our faith. And now we're going to be focusing today on vocations, you know, priesthood vocations and sports. So I'm very curious to hear what we have uh, this morning. Yeah, Keith. So as you know, you know, we just... Uh you know, we just finished this huge basketball event, March Madness, mm. and uh, it's like three weeks of just uh, constant basketball, and you got underdogs, and you have, you know, uh, the, the the blue bloods of basketball playing the underdogs, and it's just upset after upset, and then finally you get to the Final Four, and uh, it's happening on the women's side and men's side, and uh, mm. Record number of viewers watching on the women's side. So, uh, you know, hmm. I, I applaud that. And, uh, you know, it's great to see the game of basketball growing like that. And then uh, I started thinking about it. And we have a connection with uh, the game of basketball and our priest. And uh, one of the things that is happening around the country is that we are now putting together these priests versus seminarians basketball game. Hmm. And, uh, you know, I, I got... Uh, a chance to uh, look at that, be a part of that here in the uh, Archdiocese, Archdiocese of Galveston, Houston, and uh, come to find out, uh, I think uh, Tim was telling me that there's a, a game in your neck of the woods. I think there's one up in the north and California area as well, and even the northeast. And uh, so there's a connection with uh, basketball and our priest. Yeah, it's very interesting. Um, I've seen it in the Diocese of Phoenix. I think that's where I first saw it um, a few years back. And then I think uh, the Diocese of Tucson is also having something similar. But do, are you seeing a lot more seminarians versus priests when they're playing each other? What does that look like? Yeah, what that looks like is uh, it's an awesome event. And uh, what's happening is that um, they the uh, they came up with this idea. I think this is just uh, what I'm thinking is just to... Um, kind of showcase and show uh, everybody that, you know, our priests, uh, you know, they, they do their amazing things, but also, you know, they're, they're regular guys that, you know, played the game of basketball when they were young and uh, they continue to play basketball. That's maybe their way of staying fit. And, uh, mm -hmm. and what they did is they put this together and said, hey, you know what, let's play the seminarians. You know, it's our one chance to uh, show that, you know, we're – we're the priests, they're the seminarians, and they put this basketball game. And uh, what's really cool is uh, you invite all these families and uh, it's, you know Catholic families coming to check this out. Uh, here uh, in, the next, in the next week or so, we're about to pack about almost four to 5,000 families into mm -hmm. this one gym to watch the priests versus seminarians basketball game. And what's really cool, Keith, is uh, the priests will come out in their cassocks and start doing their layups in their cassocks. And uh, one year they had the uh, seminarians uh, doing a prayer around their side of the court. So they were just walking and walking, saying a prayer. And hmm. they had their holy water, throwing it up at the goal, uh, hmm. making sure that the you know they'll score more baskets than the priest. And so you have all that going on at the same time. And you've got families coming in and looking at that and like, wow, you know, like, man, the power of God is happening right here. At a, at a basketball game. That's an incredible witness. I mean, it, there, it's the cassock is striking, to say the least. Um, I know when, when I see my, my pastor, I don't think I've ever seen him in anything else, but when I see him in public, like at, like maybe at Costco, it's like, whoa, yeah, there he is. That That's a priest. Yeah, yeah, and that, uh, that speaks volumes. Uh, the cassock really does speak volumes, and so it's really cool. Uh, you know, you, you, you know, uh, so eventually after the warm ups in, in the uh, getting ready for the game, yeah, they they take off their cassocks. And maybe maybe in the future, if somebody's listening, if somebody could uh, design a basketball uh, uniform that looks like a cassock, you know, come and reach out to uh, somebody here at the Archdiocese of Galveston, Houston. Right. Maybe have that like I don't know what type of uh, uh, it's like, you know, the breathable. Uh... Right stuff yeah maybe i don't know nike i don't know if there's uh you know uh 
We need to uh, have somebody that's uh, Catholic that would do that's that right. for us. And uh, but uh, it's really great. And uh, so uh, we've been blessed to be a part of that. And so we're doing everything that we can on Catholic radio to promote that. So we have the uh, vocations director come on and we interview him and he he explains about the uh, how it's happening and all the behind the scenes and you know it's it's really great uh it's really great to see the fans yeah. come to the game and you've seen those big heads that uh you see at big ba- at basketball games or football games so they have one of their priests they have mm-hmm. a big head of their priest and they you know so you have little sections in the gym you know like here's the uh Here's the uh, parishioners from St. Rose of Lima. They're sitting in this section. Uh, from St. Elizabeth Ann Seton, they're sitting in this section. And, and everybody's cheering for the priest, and then, uh, but nobody's cheering for the seminarians, Keith. So that's kind mm. of uh, interesting. Very that is interesting. interesting. <laughs> <laughs> well, everybody has, I mean, if, if they're already established pastors or priests at a parish, there's, there's always that, you know, well, we, 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 love, we love our priest, we love our pastor, and these seminarians, who's this guy? Uh, we don't know him yet. <laughs> we don't know him yet. And it's interesting too, um, you know, as far as spurring the interest in vocations, I remember like 15 years ago, um, it was a pastor at, uh, the parish I was going to, and I found, discovered that he, he did CrossFit and I was like, what a priest doing CrossFit. That's, wow. and, and it actually, it, it started spurring like, well, okay, well, if a priest can do CrossFit, that's actually very attractive to me because I was doing CrossFit at the time. And I was like, well, maybe, maybe I got to think about my vocations more. And so it does having priests do something that's, um, you know, uh, kind of every day, but like, this is sports. It's, it's, you know, playing basketball, you know, men playing basketball together. It's masculine. And it's something that for me, it was attractive to see a, a priest, um, to do that and attracted to me towards, you know, I didn't obviously go pan out, but to the priesthood. I agree, and uh, and also there's all these other events as well. So there's a uh, you know seminar seminaries uh, in different parts of the country, and they set up sporting events so that mm-hmm. they compete against each other. So I know oh. here in the Houston area they'll play the one in San Antonio, the one in Dallas, and so they've got like a two day event of playing hmm. basketball, soccer, and uh, you know maybe uh, flag football, and uh, the po- and everybody's invited. Everybody's hmm. invited to check this out. So I love the uh, I love the aspect of you know uh, hey let's let's do something together. Hey let's yeah. compete. You know I think we have that in ourselves of uh, we want to compete and do better. And so they use sports. Uh, and uh, I know there's a lot of prayer going on. I know that there's a uh, great competition. I forgot to mention at yeah. these basketball games, the ones that we've been to, it, it's like going to an NBA game. You're <laughs> you're seeing people fall on the court. You're seeing uh, the priests and seminarians diving for the ball and setting screens, and you know, and uh, you know, everybody's excited, and and uh, it's a really great uh, thing to see. And so, at Definitely. the end of the day, at the end of the day, uh, the game is finished. All the fans, all the uh, parents and families uh, go out onto the court, get autographs, take pictures with their priest, and it's so awesome to see. That is awesome. Now, with the, the, just a few moments left, uh, I, I noticed, or at least I heard, you coached alongside with a priest. Tell us a little bit more about that. I did. So uh, I've been blessed to that. Uh, I've been able to uh, help and volunteer coach uh, at, a, uh, at a Catholic school, and a few years back, uh, a parochial vicar uh, came, young priest came, and also coached. Uh, I coached the girls. He coached the boys team, middle school. And uh, I was very, uh, I don't know what the word, impressed. I was uh, like, wow, man, this is awesome. I get to coach side by side with the priest. I learned so much from uh, Father Preston. And um, one day, uh, it's funny, one day uh, we, we have our uh, practices set up and so we get together and and we get the the boys and girls uh we get them from middle school walk to the gym well one day i show up i don't see any i don't see any kids i don't see our i don't see our players and i'm panicking and i'm like okay well what's today did i miss something is uh did we did we cancel practice so i'm walking around for about five minutes asking people where are the kids where are the kids well now they're coming out of the church and I and I, I see Father Preston. Father, what happened? Uh, th- what what happened to practice? He goes, Oh, I decided to take the kids to adoration first. And I'm like, Okay, uh, I I, there, I cannot argue that at <laughs> that point. Uh, we have an important game coming up, but I can't argue that. So um, that was really great. And uh, the other thing about Father Preston, Keith, is that uh, on game days he's wearing his cassock. 
Oh, nice. He's wearing his cassock. So I know when the kids come in to the gym and the coach, if it's me, I'm kind of like, wow, this is uh, impressive. This is like, I'm not sure if I'm going to win now. So uh, <laughs> it's really uh, inte- it's really, uh, really great to see. Uh, so at a Catholic school, I know the priests are involved as much as they can. And, mm-hmm. and when there's the opportunity for a priest to coach uh, young boys like that, it's awesome to see. I saw and witnessed uh, the boys starting practice with a prayer, mm-hmm. ending practice with a prayer, and at the end of practice, they talk about uh, the virtues. Wow. The Man. virtues. And uh, that's so impressive for a middle school kid right there. Middle school kids are doing this. Wow. That is, yeah, that's, that gives me hope for the future of our church for sure. I, I agree, and uh, I want to also uh, let somebody and let uh, everyone know that uh, at this particular parish, Saint Elizabeth Ann Seton, uh, another uh, priest, Father Chad, he had set up a uh, basketball league mm-hmm. that uh, young men are invited to, uh, young adults, and they played at uh, like eight or nine o'clock on Monday nights, so that they could, you know. The, the young adults can kind of take care of their business, but mm. at the end of the day, they can come out and shoot shoot baskets. Father Chad mm. would play uh, with these uh, uh, young men, and uh, I know for sure that they praised a uh, rosary before the start. Wow. And so uh, just, just bringing that peace, bringing that uh, to a sporting event of uh, prayer and, you know, rosary, and, and then afterwards I know they also gathered and talked about you know, life and our faith. Well, that's incredible. I know if I went to Catholic school and uh, I think if, if I would have seen a priest, you know, involved in the sports aspect, it would, it would make it less foreign, the, the vocation to priesthood less foreign. So Amen. My, my goodness, thank you so much, David Magianes, for joining us. Uh, always a pleasure to have you on the show. And this is it. This is the end of Morning Joy, where truth matters. However, there's two things. Okay, first part If you're going to be listening to the Holy Mass right after this, please pray for us. But for those wanting to continue the conversation, head on over to our YouTube channel, GRN Online, or our Facebook page, Morning Joy Show. Stick around. We're going to be interacting with you. It's an interactive after-show clubhouse for you to join. We're looking forward to continuing that conversation. But if you're not able to make it, God bless and make it a joyful day. We'll see you tomorrow. This has been Morning Joy, where truth matters. Hosted by Keith Downey. Take some joy with you today. Visit grnonline.com slash joy to listen again. Share a segment or answer the question of the day. That's grnonline.com slash joy.